welcome to Couch's Corner. I'm your couch captain, Axel Malibu, and today I am with uh, one of my esteemed alumni colleagues over here from Fitchburg State College, Matt Keen. Matt Keen, welcome back to the show. Thank you. Thanks. Last time we had Keen on the show, uh, we were talking about puppets and puppeteering and, and all yeah. kinds of puppet tomfoolery. Puppet and stuff. Uh, yeah, so uh, today we're going to talk about one of Keen's favorite things on the planet. Cereal. So Keen, obviously we're 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 uh, we're here with a whole bunch of your T-shirts. Your uh, I remember when we were in college, you always had. If it wasn't a shirt from Zazzle, yeah. it was. See, that's basically in my past, because I gave up cereal for a whole year. Really? Uh, yeah, and then now I eat it uh, sometimes. Yeah. But back yeah back when you used to know me in college. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Yeah. Cereal. All the time, dude. Cereal. You remember when we were in college at DACA and there were like the cereal dispensers? Oh, yeah. That was a good time. Remember we got those little black plastic bowls and then like every couple of days like there would be something different, right? I mean like they have like Lucky Charms. There was like generic stuff, remember? They have like generic yeah, Lucky Charms and stuff like, like that. Like Lucky Stars. Yeah, yeah, whatever. right. But um, yeah, I remember, remember doing that. It was always good. They have the weird like milk dispenser with like the the big like metal thing. Yeah, I remember that. Man, that was just so long ago. I know it feels like a long time. Yeah, um, but yeah, dude, you always had cereal stuff. So I'm gonna ask you two questions. Okay. Wait, are you still eating cereal? Well, that's yeah. not the question, but. Well, right now I'm doing uh, Honey Nut Cheerios. Okay. And regular, and if I run out of one of them, I mix. I oh, mix. really? Ooh. So let me ask you something. What is your favorite? Sugary cereal. Of all time? Oh, yeah. Blasted Fruit Loops. Blasted Fruit Blasted. Loops? Blasted. It's with marshmallows. You can only find them certain places. I've never had them. I've never heard of them. If you go to Walmart, they should have it. Cool. Depending on where you're, you live. But, oh, my Probably God. Probably have to buy them online, right? Huh? Probably have to buy them online, right? Maybe. But I once, I was um, in my old apartment that I had. Yeah. I would get the carriage. I just made like 10 bars. <laughs> really? And that would be my snack. Yeah. Supper, whatever. For like a whole week. It's wow. Oh my God. I want some right now. So bad. Yeah. I mean, I'm starving Marvin. I could totally go for a nice big bowl of cereal right now. So what is your favorite sugary cereal? Oh, hands down, dude. Without a doubt, absolutely, positively... Count chocolate cereal is the best cereal on the planet. I, like I it's weird because like I'm not like a big chocolate guy, but I love chocolatey cereals. And Count Chocula is the most chocolate cereal you can buy. I mean, you got the chocolate marshmallows with the chocolate like uh, like cereal pieces, right? Where like like you know when you buy like Lucky Charms, like the regular like oat pieces that aren't mar marshmallows. Yeah, yeah. It's like those, but they're chocolate. You know what I mean? Yeah, I've never had um, Count Chocula. I know. No I way. I've Cocoa Puffs, Cocoa Krispies. Mm, dude, Cocoa none Pebbles. of them taste anywhere near like that. Just I mean, well, okay. If you took if you took Lucky Charms and put chocolate in it, that's basically what it is. Well, what I used to do, I used to do, um, I used to mix Lucky Charms with Cocoa Puffs. Okay. Oh, that sounds best. wicked good. It's yeah, you so know, I never, I've never really experimented with a whole lot of, um, like, mixing of cereals. Dude, when, did get, when did you get down to the bottom? They're all low. Yeah. You just mix them all up in this That's one a good big idea. happy family. Wow, man, I've never really thought about Cereal. mixing stuff. Wow, man, that's a great idea. I bet you, you know it would be cool if you started, like, a blog or an online thing about mixing different cereals? What tastes good, what yeah, tastes Yeah, right? Yeah, that'd be cool. You'd, like, experiment, you know? Have like little videos? Yeah. All right, this one's going to be... Dude, I know. think you should do that. That'd be fun. That'd be cool. I'd, be, yeah. I'd do it with you. So, Thank dude, um, now, what's your favorite, like, healthy cereal? Well, back in the day, I used to have, um, in the cabinet, there would be Special K. But I made it a little bit more special. Cinnamon sugar all over. Oh, I like you can't sugar. do that. Mm. What's your favorite healthy cereal that you don't have to add sugary stuff to? Nothing. <laughs> what about like Cheerios, regular Cheerios? Oh, yeah. Regular Cheerios. Or like cornflakes and stuff like that. Oh. Regular Cheerios. You don't like cornflakes? No. Really? Frosted Flakes, but those don't have sugar. 
Yeah, the Frosted Flakes are awesome. Is there any cereal that you hate that you absolutely don't like at all? They came out with an Oreo, the Oreo one. But dude, Oreo O's were terrible. Did you talk about that with um, on your show one time? I don't think so. Junk Food Show? Oh, actually, on the Junk Food Show, we mentioned it real quick. Yeah, that was horrible. Hor Oreo O's were like, they were kind of okay, like dry, but once you put them in milk, they tasted disgusting. There's something yeah. about them. They're really nasty. Um, so. That's pretty much the worst cereal I've ever had. What about you? Um, oh God, yeah, Oreo O's are definitely up there. Um, I don't like Special K. Oh, I hate Wheaties, man. I think Wheaties are like the worst cereal. It's like if, if like Mom ever bought Wheaties, I never ate it. It just stood up there and collected dust on top of the in the pantry. Yeah. I hate Wheaties. Wait, what's the one with the sugar coating on it? Frosted it, Flakes. No. Frosted mini wheats. Frosted mini wheats. Oh, frosted mini wheats are great. I can't really eat regular mini wheats. I gotta put sugar in it or something to add it to it. Just know. too plain. I just don't like. I like frosted mini wheats. Really? I've had. I it, love them. Oh, after, they're good. After a few, I'm like, I'm done. Really? I can just eat them dry, man. I can just pop them in there. They're like little bite size Maybe things. Maybe because they're just... wet. Dude, Teddy Grahams. You did talk Teddy about Graham, this. Teddy Grahams. Oh yeah, Teddy Grahams. Yeah. Cinnamon Teddy Grahams in milk. Yeah, that's wicked. Let good. it sit for a little, like, ten minutes. Yeah. Um, that's so really good. good stuff. Yeah. Now, like, what do you think about, do you have, like, a, like, a strategy? Like, I have a strategy when I eat cereal. Like, do you have a strategy? Mine is get the biggest bowl you can find, get a gallon of milk, pour until it's full. No, no, like, it's like, uh, fill it, like, 75% of the way. Wait, 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 are we talking then, about milk first? No, no, cereal. Okay. Then the milk, top, to top, till, till it comes up. Okay. Now, okay, so let me ask you about, like, the milk to cereal ratio. So you like to have more milk than cereal? No, no, I just like to have enough so that the milk, if you put, if you put your spoon in, it's got to be milk. It can't okay. be at the very bottom. Okay, yeah. Some people are kind of picky, but like me, like, I'm kind of picky when it comes to that. But be careful with big bowls, because if, if you have a small spoon... And you lose the spoon. Every single time I eat cereal, I gotta have like the big, the big spoon. Yeah. yeah, a soup spoon or or larger. Yeah, yeah, not like a little tablespoon. Yeah, you know? little, little spoon is not good. Now, uh, now, like what I do is, I try to do this with every cereal I do, and it's kind of like what kind of somewhat like what I do is, I'll take my bowl. I'll fill it up with cereal. Sometimes halfway or like getting pretty close, maybe how, like eighty percent. Yeah, you know your regular standard bowl, right? Regular standard bowl. I don't have any like big ones, so I mean it's regular. You go back a seconds. Well, well, I'm gonna get into that. Yeah. I'm gonna get into that. So what I do is, then I take the milk. Now, do you, do you take the milk? Some people, when you take the milk, you do like a circle. You make like a swirly. Like me, I just go right in the middle. In the middle. In so the I middle. go in the middle, right? And then what yeah. I do is. As soon as I see the cereal, just start to go, eh, just slightly move up. That's when I hit stop. That's all I'm like, Wait, done. Slightly? So, so, so you take the cereal. So you look at the cereal, and you don't even see the milk yet. You take the cereal, and just, as soon as the cereal starts to rise, just go, bit, a little bit, done. I'm going to see some milk for mine. Really? Yeah. Okay. Because it's a surprise at the end. Yeah, I suppose. You just... Well, let me ask you, are you, do you, like, if you have a cereal that doesn't, okay, oh, hold on. Hold on, we got to back up. Oh, too many things. Uh, so when it comes to uh, the sogginess, do you are you okay with like you know you know how oh, over time it starts to get a little yeah. soggy or whatever? So you're watching a movie and you you don't finish it. Like like do you mind or is that a problem for you? I mean like let's say it gets really soggy, mind. will you still eat it or will you like put it down the sink? When it starts to get really warm, yeah. Dep depending on what it is, I'll I'll eat it or not. You know. Yeah. So like what I do is. I'll start eating like on one side. So I start eating kind of like almost from like the bottom. So you know that the top stuff doesn't have any milk on it. It doesn't have a too lot of milk on it, right? Stuff underneath, obviously it's like totally soaked. So what I'll start to do is I'll kind of like take the dry stuff and kind of like take my spoon and put it up. And I'll start drinking the, I'll start eating the, the wet stuff. And what I do is over time I'll take the stuff on top and I'll start pouring it, putting it down into the, into the milk. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I so that's my weird little strategy. You know what I mean? I, I understand that there's like back. a there's like a bowl that they sell at like Brooks Brothers or whatever it's called there, Brookstone, and it's like it's like a there's like a it's almost half where like half of it you put dry cereal, half of it you put the milk, and you yeah. you portion out. It's like you'll take a little bit of cereal, put it in, then you eat it, then take a little more cereal, put it in. That's a weird store. I know, I know, but uh, I've I've never used that. I'd totally use it, but I had one uh, one someone gave it to me. I don't know. 
There was a green. Um, you may have seen it at college. It was a green. Um, Did bowl. it change color or something like that? No, no. But um, it didn't change color, but it had a straw in it. Okay. So there was a straw in the that. bowl. So I don't think I don't think you ever brought that to school. You drink the milk. Cool. I don't know, but so when it comes to milk, after the cereal is gone. Do you just, are you cool? I know you just like milk on its own, like with cookies and stuff. So you're okay with drinking milk. Me, I can't just drink milk. I, I, I can't like. Well, I don't drink milk anymore. Just, just plain. Oh, okay. I drink, um, like now with all my like, peanut butter, I drink water. Okay. Oh, okay. I change. So like what I do is uh, if it's like regular cereal, that's why like I'm, when, when it's like a, like a good, like, like, like cereal that doesn't, mix like a chocolate cereal as we were talking about um obviously the chocolate cereals like count chocula and stuff obviously you're gonna get some I, you're gonna get some chocolate you, milk I, at the end of I that i want you to buy me a box of count chocula never had it let me buy tell you me, what buy me a box oh on you. that's the thing too count chocula is like one of the only few seasonal cereals that's out there you can't get it year round it only comes out in like stuck up oh i know i know i really should it only comes out in like october and that's it I mean, you could buy it year-round. Like, you go go online, go on Amazon yeah. or whatever. Yeah, you can buy it. But um, but at stores, you want to go to Target and stuff, you you got to buy it during this, the peak season there, you know? I'll call you in October. Okay, dude, I'll, I'll, I'll buy you some. I love that stuff. Yeah, well, you know, we'll have to have another episode here of us just eating Count Chocula the whole episode. The whole half hour? The whole half hour would be nothing but Count Chocula. Taste testing. Which would be awesome. Kind of like, a, like a wine testing, but a cereal. Yeah. Ooh, hey. Now you're cooking with gas. That's a good idea. Right, yeah, I would yeah. be totally cool with that. Me too. Um, so uh, when it comes to the end, like, yeah, if it's the chocolatey milk, oh, yeah, right out of bowl. But when it's a regular cereal that, like Cheerios, it's not going to flavor up the milk like chocolate. Like you know, like Fruit Loops. Oh yeah, that's gonna flavor up the milk real good. Yeah. But like Cheerios or fro- or, or, or uh, um, um, Corn Flakes, that's not gonna do anything to the milk. So, so what I do is when I have a cereal like that, I'll use a little bit of milk, so that way it just soaks up the the, the cereal enough yeah. that like there's, there's like very little. Cause I always feel like I'm gonna waste the milk and I'm gonna put it down the sink. So I'll use I very know, little I milk. Waste it. I just drink oh, it I know. Anything. Yeah. Awesome. But yeah, it's a good idea for you if you don't if you don't uh, drink all the milk. Don't take so But you know what I do, though? In case that ever happens where if I, in t- both instances, if I have milk, okay, with no cereal, or I have milk left, and I still have some soggy cereal, I'll pour a little bit of fresh stuff from the, from the box in there. Yeah, so yeah. That way, yeah, so that way yeah. the, you don't want you to be like, ew, soggy cereal, gross. You put some of the fresh stuff in there, so that way it mixes with the soggy stuff so you yeah. don't taste the soggy stuff as much. You got it. And then, bam, you got brand new cereal to use up on the milk. All right, here's a question for milk. What percent do you use? Oh, whatever's in the fridge. I could do the whole milk or a 1%. I'm usually a 1%er. But you know what's gross? What? 2%? 2% is like water. No, you know what's really gross? What? On three, we'll say it together. What is it? You don't know? I don't know. Skim. Oh, skim milk? Skin okay, milk yeah, I wasn't milk. even thinking. I went to a place. It had all-you-can-eat buffet. And there it was. Cereal. I was like, yes! And then, boom, skim milk. That's it? It was so gross. Like, I don't even know what skim milk is. It's disgusting. It's like it's flavored like, water. It's like white water. It's gross. It doesn't taste good. Yeah, obviously Bad. the best with cereal, especially chocolate cereals, hands down, or any kind of like sugary cereal, hands down is regular whole milk. You get the yeah. whole package right there. Yeah. Oh, is that good? Two percent, no, one percent with the with the blue cap. Oh yeah, yeah, that's good stuff. I could do that. Yeah, I could do it. Hood. Hood, Gorillac Farms. That's good stuff. Yeah. 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 Oh, man. So, uh, yeah, it's so weird just talking about just cereal on an episode. For half an hour talking about cereal. Yeah. So, like, what other kind of cereals, like, besides that, uh, do you, like, really like? I mean, like, let's say if you had a shopping spree well, okay. at a store I, and you could sure, only buy cereal, what would you buy? I'm pretty sure they changed uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That was my favorite for a long time. You think they changed it? It did. It tastes different. Oh, weird. A little less sugar or something. I want to say that about, you know what I love? Cookie Crunch. Oh, I'm sorry, Cookie Crisp. Never had it. Oh, no way. Cookie Crisp is my number two favorite cereal I'm on the planet. Apple Jacks? 
Oh, Apple Jacks is good. I wasn't a, uh, like growing up. I didn't like it, but I like it now. You know what I mean? It's kind of weird. Yeah. Do you remember when when, um, when tricks went from balls to fruit? I know. Well, well, back in the day, it used to be. I think it, back in the day, it used to be balls. Then it turned to fruit. And I think they made it back in the balls again. Really? I think so. Dude. Dude, remember when we were little kids? There were cereals that were like based off of TV shows and movies and stuff like... Ninja Turtles. Dude, I, I love Ninja Turtle cereal. And it always came with something. Like I used to have a Ninja Turtle bowl, like cereal bowl that came with my Ninja Turtle cereal. I had Bill and Ted cereal that came with... It was called like Bill and Ted's Excellent Cereal. <laughs> and it came with, uh, you know, like the little phone booth? Came with a little like phone booth that opened up. I don't know. You put like coins in there. That's a prize. Yeah, it like came with the cereal, you know. That's a good and prize. I remember like back in the day, there was like a Pac-Man cereal, and there were like Ghostbusters cereal, and yeah, there was a lot of that stuff was. when we were kids. You know, they never do stuff like that anymore. So, you know what I like? Captain Crunch, specifically. And dude, I haven't had Captain Crunch in ages. You remember they used to have like peanut butter Captain Crunch? Have you ever been? Oh man. Have you ever been to uh, the movie theater? In the Lux level, well, there's a, um, nowadays there's movie theaters where you can have, like, dinner and um, order drinks and stuff. Oh, okay, yeah, I've yeah. heard of it. I've never done one, though. They have a Captain's Chicken. They bred it in Captain Crunch. No way. True story. I would totally eat that. That sounds awesome. Wow, yeah. cool. So. Neat. Wow, you're going to have to, like, you and I will get go, me the recipe. You and I will go. It's just basically flour and then put Captain Crunch coat in. Sweet. Wait, you, like, crunch, you like crunch it up? Yeah. Or are they, are they whole Captain Crunch pieces? No, they, they can crunch it, I think. Awesome. But, oh, I would totally eat that? Yeah. Awesome. Wow. Cool. And just, uh, you know, side note. Cool. Yeah, man, i totally do that. Um, you have to make that this summer on a barbecue or something. On the Bobby. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, dude, it's... Uh, there's like a lot of different stuff you could do with cereal, like mixing, doing like that. Yeah, like um, that. Yeah, that's cool. That's awesome. Cool, man. Awesome. Anything else cereal related that you want to add? Okay. Oh, are there any cereals that they don't make anymore that you wish that was still around? Do you remember like back in the day? Are there any cereals that you like remember eating back in the day that you can't like remember like what they're called now? Yeah. This is cereal when I was a kid. I don't know what it's called. I don't think about it. But there were like these little like sticks, like little brown sticks or maybe like one inch, one inch and a half long. And like that was the cereal, like brown stick cereal. And I remember them being really good. It was like some healthy something or other, right? But I remember it being really good. I don't remember the name of it at all. I got to try and go online and look at it. You remember like puffin cereal at all? Puffin? Puffin, puffin cereal? No. It was like a puffin on the cover. No? What's a puffin? I don't know what it is. Oh, it's like a, it's like a penguin almost. Oh. It's like a bird. Oh, well. yeah. but I don't know. Yeah, there were a couple of cereals back in the day that I kind of kind of remember. Any cereals for that for you? That you wish you you still had that don't make anymore or anything like that? Well, I can't really think about when I was a kid. Yeah, you know what? You know what drives me nuts? Going back on Cookie Crisp real quick. Yeah. When I was a kid, Cookie Crisp had um, the the burglar. Yeah. And the dog and the cop. Good commercial. It was awesome. It's all gone. Today, it's like a wolf who's, who does the cookie crisp. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? It's ridiculous. Hey, have you ever noticed? This is something weird. Sugar Smacks and Golden Grams are the exact same thing. Do same you agree? Company? What's that? Same company? I, I think, no, I think they're the exact Good same thing. cereal. Sugar Smacks and Golden Grams. Who are they made by? I don't know, probably catalogs. I don't have a slightest clue who makes them. They're the exact same cereal. Hey, did you listen to um, your Rice Krispies when you were little? Pop? Love, crackle, and pop? Oh, yeah. I had some Rice Krispies the other day. They were talking to me. Oh, yeah. What'd they say? Eat me. <laughs> okay. Enjoy your meal, you know? <laughs> Enjoy your meal. Oh, man. do you? Rem- I don't know if you had this when you were a little kid, but when I was a little kid, I don't know what it was for, but when I was a little kid, there was a generic cereal that they sold. Like, you know how, like, inside your, your cereal box, there's, like, a bag? You take out the bag, just the bag? Yeah. So, when I was a little kid, there used to be these commercials for this generic cereal that was basically exactly the same thing as your regular cereals. It was your Fruit Loops and your, 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 um, oh, man, I remember Cinnamon Toast Crunch? 
That was yeah, awesome. Definitely. Or no, 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 no. no. Was, was, it, was, it, was, it, was it? Was it? Was it? Was it? Um, French toast. Do you remember the French toast one? Oh, I hated it. You didn't like that? that I was love so the bad. French toast one. What was that other one? It was like um, golden grams. I didn't care for golden grams too much. Or, no, 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 no. Or, what was the one? Honey, honey grams. They look like uh, they look like look like a honeycomb. 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 I didn't care for honeycomb that much. I never. Oh yeah, I had it, but I didn't like it. I don't even know if they still make that. But anyway, I'm sorry. It wasn't good to me. Back on. I remember that the French toast one. Freaking love that stuff. Anywho, back on back on track. When I was a little kid, we used commercials where it didn't come in a box. It just came in the bag. You know, it had like a sticker on the front. And it said like, you know, fruity, fruity O's or whatever, right? Oh, uh, yeah. In the commercial, it was, like in, it was like in the late 80s, early 90s. And the guy was like, oh, you could buy the exact same cereal for half the price. <laughs> and all you have to do is go like this. And what it was was they were always on the bottom shelf, on the bottom shelf. So the guy would be like, oh, you just got to squat down and go get your cereal. Do you remember that at all? Do you remember no. seeing that? Oh, man. I oh, gotta, they still have those kind of cereals in the bag. Yeah. I got to see if I could go online and see if I can find that. All right. What was your, besides the um, Bill and Ted, what was your favorite prize? Oh, man. My favorite prize was definitely the Ninja Turtle cereal when I got the Ninja Turtle bowl. It was like a, basically, it was like a Ninja Turtle shell. It was a green, and it was you know I'd eat my cereal. Well, you gotta send it. away for it. Was that no, no, it can't. Well, it was that and the Bill and Ted one was like there was like Saran wrap or something that held, like like on the front of the box the prize. Like it wasn't inside the box. It was on the outside oh. of the box, like on the side or something. And it was some kind of like Saran wrappy like shrink wrap I that see. held it with the box. Yeah. But those were two, definitely my two favorite prizes. Yeah, yeah, man, prizes and cereals. Yeah, man. Like I don't even know how they do that anymore. Mine was the uh, the Trix Rabbit. Color changing spoon. Ooh, no. oh yeah, I remember having one of those. Yeah, yeah. wow. That was awesome. Wow, that brings me back. It, yeah, color. Yeah, changes colors. Yeah, absolutely. It was, was like cool. a pink and a purple. Yep. Put in the milk, turn pink, or whatever, vice versa. Yeah, I remember that. Wow, cool. I miss being a kid. Yeah. When it was okay to eat Dude. cereals like that all the time. Hey, your biggest problem was long division. You know? I know, right? No, long division. <laughs> I want to eat some cereal. Yeah. Feel better. Oh, man. What, what's, like, your favorite time to eat cereal? I could eat cereal, like, all, like, every day, all day. If I could eat for, like, three meals a day. Probably um, at night if I'm watching TV. Yeah. Is there, like, do you have, like, a cereal or anything that, like, you say, like, okay. Or is there, like a, like, a movie or a TV show that you say, okay, whenever I watch this, I have to have this cereal with me? No. No? Well, like sometimes, like when I'm watching a certain movie or TV show, I have to have a certain cereal with me. Like if I'm watching like your old show, Matt and Ringo, mm -hmm. I probably like I have to have like a sugary cereal with me. Like, uh, like uh, probably like uh, um, um, uh, rap balls. Oh, rap balls. Oh, rap balls. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, I, I have to have like Lucky Charms something with me if I'm if I'm watching that show. Either that or an Elio's Pizza to go with it. Elio's. <laughs> I'm more of a mama Celeste kind Dudes, of Dudes, oh, obviously Celeste is the king of oven pizzas. Cheap, yeah, you know, cheap, of, cheap oven pizzas. But Celeste is definitely number two. But, um, yeah, like, is there, like, a drink that you like having with cereal or anything like that? Like, you got to have, like, like cran apple a juice with you? drink on the side? No, never. You know what I mean? I, like, if I'm eating cereal, it doesn't matter what cereal it is, I always got to have, like, orange juice with me. It's the weirdest thing. Hmm. I always have a little orange juice. Not me. Nah. Eh, oh, well. Nah. Oh man, is there anything else related that you want to talk about? The cereal aisle in the supermarket. Yeah. Oh, is there any generic cereals that you like? For a long time, um, just to be different, I instead of Fruit Loops, there was Fruit Rings. Oh yeah. And I just made myself like it. I just got all the time and just put. I remember for a short while, they don't sell anymore. They only sold it for maybe like a season or so. Billy 19 used to sell jerry -Os. Yeah, you gave me that for Christmas. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And uh, they, they, don't, they haven't sold it in years. But that was an awesome cereal. They and had like two uh, little girls in the front. They look one. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Nine. There were like three different boxes. It was a regular box of jerry Ellis, like going... Ah, like hanging out of the bowl. It was just like generic Cheerios. It just tasted yeah. like Cheerios, and it was really good. I actually still have one of the cardboard boxes as a collectible, just to keep it, of that one. And then I guess a lot of people complained because it looked like he was like a naked guy in a book bowl of cereal. Why would so you they, complain? So they, so they drew like a, like, a, like a swimsuit on him, 
And then they had the other one with these like two young girls who I don't know they like won a contest or something to be on the yeah. box of Jerios. <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah, that was cool. That was good. Yeah. So yeah, but yeah, back to the aisle, like you said. Yeah, but Sarah's always expensive. Even but the you, generic stuff like, is kind yeah, of expensive. Depends, but you can get one box. Yeah. Or man, it's Make always it one of those things where like, Make it last. where like you could get like the regular box of Cheerios or like the big box. Like you buy a BJ's or BJ's whatever. BJ's you get double. I know, it's huge. It's two and one. I love yeah. that. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you get two of the bags in there. That's right. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, you know? Do you remember when you were a little kid? I used to get these all the time. I don't know. I don't know. I wish I still got them. Like you know how they have like those little like personal bowl, personal boxes of cereal. Like the little ones. For did you ever travel size? Yeah. Did you ever camping? get? Did you ever get like samples of those in the mail when you were a kid? I think once or twice. Once in a while, I get like you get like three, right, or two or three, and they were again in like a shrink wrap. Yeah. You know, it was like Fruit Loops, you know, Lucky Charms, and like Frosted Flakes. Yeah. You know, the little tiny ones, and it's funny because like it's not like a regular. And I think um, also there was one a healthy one, Kellogg's. Yeah, you'd, you'd probably get, yeah, whatever, right? And I remember, remember those little tiny, like, personal bowls? They don't come with, like, the regular plastic pouch inside. It was, like, made out of, like, wax paper. You know what I'm talking no, about? No, no, I'm talking about. No? It's like when you have one of those little tiny boxes of cereal, you know, a regular box of cereal has, like, the plastic bag inside. The bag inside the little one is, like, it's, like, made out of wax paper. It's the weirdest thing, like a thick wax paper. That's been so long. Yeah, but yeah, I miss that. I don't, we don't get that stuff anymore. Mm. I, I miss that. Like sometimes if I go, if I travel and go to a hotel and they have like breakfast in the morning, they'll have like the different bowls of cereal you can have. I'm just like grabbing a bunch of them. Yeah, I love cereal too. Yeah, man, I love that stuff. Oh, man. If you were stranded on an island and you can only have one cereal to have with you, what would you have? Like before, I would still have the blasted Fruit Loops. Yeah. I'd probably just have regular Cheerios, to be honest with why, you. Why? I don't know why. You wouldn't have Count Chocula? No. If I was stranded on a desert island, I would just have my Cheerios. I don't know why. I love regular Cheerios. Either dry or or in the bowl, bowl of milk. It's baby food, too. I know, yeah, babies <laughs> love eating Cheerios. They got them on, like, their little plate. Yeah, all those commercials. Yeah, some good stuff. Anything else you want to add? It's all for me. Here cool. Now. Yeah. All right, man, cool. Well, uh, that, was a good, that was a good topic, man. We came up with a lot of good stuff. For a half hour. Yeah, I know, all right. Much, yeah. Cool, cool. All righty, well, uh, thanks for being on the show again. Thanks for having me. Cool, again. cool, awesome. All right, everybody, well... Uh, Hope you all enjoyed this uh, serial-themed episode of Couch's Corner. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time right back here on Couch's Corner.